learned from my star chart is that Sirius, which I've made the star of the pentagram in my system of celestial biology, uh, comes right through here. And it's right at this log right now. It comes right. Sirius does this. And I, I don't know, obviously I think it's going to change over time, so it'll be neat to see if it drifts. So it starts there, and, and as we approach the winter solstice, I'm going to now plot uh, where Sirius moves along this star. So I'll have, a sense, a measuring device of what that star is doing with relation to me, which I think is interesting. Or to us, if you would share in this journey with me. A journey of discovery to go where no man has gone before, to sit by himself, lonely, shiftless, and unemployed, and smoke marijuana. It is uh, something sometimes I become keenly aware of. I mean, but for my mother, I have virtually no social contact. And, you know, there's no particular reason for most people to think, to take much of an interest in my life. And uh, the odd person that does get a little bit closer, uh, and, and this is what I was going to talk about originally, never, ever takes an interest in anything that I do. And even if I bring up ideas that just arise naturally from the type of mental exercises that I've felt conducted, in and around me throughout my life um, doesn't it's like speaking another language uh, a language that can add to their ideas but which they themselves do not recognize the ideas are so sufficient for them in and of themselves because whatever their ideas may be they seem to be categorized in ways that don't permit them to take my ideas very seriously <laughs> You know, I said to the warlock runner, I said when he was telling me about his worldview and uh, the cult of Saturn and, and demonic possession and various serpent bloodlines and, and this type of thing, and also the tribes of Israel, and he get pretty, pretty involved, but intelligent enough that he's created quite a, a sophisticated worldview. And, you know, it's up to each of us to decide. I, it's up to me to decide what I'm going to take from it, but I think I've taken a great deal just from the intelligence of his mind and not even like getting into the meat of the substance of a lot of his philosophy. And uh, I'm glad. It took me a while to, to get to the place where I could really enjoy that, um, I'm proud to say. And I, a lot of different people can help us do that. A lot of my life, it's people that were quite actually in, uh, inimical to my, my well-being. <sighs> but you, one has need, I have need, of improving my philosophy. I do have many different periods or emotional epics of my life to try to understand a bit better. A lot of it comes down to who I care about and why should caring about them mean caring less about myself and uh, what do you do when you're not loved what do you do when nobody cares about you and what do you do when you suspect that nobody cares about anyone unless right there is obviously a terrain good or bad where people do not get cared about very much and there are those of us who learn to live with that you know people don't have the time to take an interest in my life. Which, even as I say it, sounds like something that I resent almost a little bit. It makes me sad. But I don't take responsibility for it. Because I like living my life the way I do. And maybe I'm just sad that the world is the way it is. Maybe I'm sad that uh, I can't have more intelligent conversations with people. Or... Uh, there isn't just enough of that mutual interest and acknowledgement. We can, I can just get more out of my encounters than just another person who's just kind of brain dead. But a, a different kind of charming, but brain dead. Not someone who pays the least bit of attention to their world. And there's a, a good deal that takes more than just a Reader's Digest level of education to see and know what's going on in the world around us. To say that it's just, you know, what appears immediate to us, it seems farcical. But meditative if you want to start with that look at what you can see and i try to build my seeing all the time to bring celestial light which is part of my own natural and native brain function uh to give it new flesh and as much as growing and even getting old ever had a purpose at all the purpose shared by all life <laughs>